All right, so this is it. Um, anything to the left of this wall is just the infrastructure. All right, here's the water clock. Um, this makes one kilogram packet of algae to prepare the um, the feeders. This is an optional um, omelette maker. So it, when the omelette, when the raw egg is heated to 81C, it'll just turn to omelette automatically. Obviously, if you're not making this to make omelette, then that can just be replaced with um, just one one by one tile of paku. Um, and this is just the egg sorter um, to prepare for the next life cycle. As for what this produces, every vertical feeder you set up will cost a bit over 900 grams of algae per cycle and it provides enough omelette if you're going that route um, plus the cooked fillet for 3.8 tubes otherwise it's just an extra two eggs to chuck into your infinite packing pool um, now let's just show the life cycle this is nearing the end of it this one um, water clock's about to be done First thing is these doors will open up. Um, it also drops in more eggs at the top there. This water will fall, packet will fall. This is pretty safe even on um, fast forward. They, it'll stay open for 30 seconds to account for um, the fact that you could be on fast forward mode. And they can take like 10 to 15 seconds to drop from fast forward. This will break if you are running the times 10 mode from like debug or whatever other mod you've got because the Paku will just sit there and not fall until the doors close if you're on times 10 mode. Anyway, so now the next bit, you're kind of probably getting at what's happening here. So all the doors are just opening up one by one and that's the entire life cycle. So that will happen every 3.3 uh, cycles so one life cycle is um, about 3.3 cycles so this here is the retirement home um, these these little babies um, are about to become an adult and they're about to get fed as soon as it's well not long now speed this up it's very bad if they get fed while they're a fry but I'm pretty sure this never fails like the timings pretty good yep there we go and even on fast forward I this also doesn't seem to fail it drops one kilogram of algae only I've never seen it do zero or two kilograms done eight and that's it you know that's not gonna happen again until Another um, cycle. Um, that's pretty much it. The whole cycle is done now. And uh, now this is scalable. Um, th this whole infrastructure on the left here is fixed. You don't have to do anything with that if you wanted to make this wider. Um, so each of these vertical um, fish feeders here. Uh, you just extend this out and so you, you make these twice as wide twice as much for example um, you don't need to do anything else with the automation just extend the wires out same with the conveyors um, sort of you know what I mean extend that out like that um, and then when you extend out the top bit here for example um, if you're going to do six, then this section here needs to be six long. So um, this needs to match how many shoots you've got. Now this is one section, two, three. So you've got to include the um, everything between these two conveyor shutoffs. All right. So 
if I was to do six, um, I'd do something like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's not going to work. But, um, yeah, you know what I mean. Probably like a bridge actually. Do this and a bridge there to get six total. So, um, what other options? So if you, if you probably noticed. I'm just pumping the water here. If you wanted to save power, then you do this. Um, this is like a Escher waterfall, I think it's called. Um, trap gases, and they'll just go up there. So, um, but this is very finicky. You could do this if you want. Good luck. Um, I haven't tested this too much. I just wanted to try a pretty simple solution. Plus, it's, it's not terribly hard to get power in a late game. Anyway, um, so if you wanted to go this route, this obviously just slots in between your left side infrastructure and your feeders, and this will this would, should be good for about maybe eight feeders. Actually, no, sorry, this should be pretty good no matter how wide you want it. Um, I also did this. I actually built this in survival, um, believe it or not. Um, this wide too, exactly, uh, because I was on. Um, Uh, the increased hunger. Uh, this this has a bit of a problem. It does trap some gas because, and it takes a while to fill up after each cycle. But it should be fine. You can do this route if, as well if you want. This actually um, holds half as much water as this, if you'd believe. Like if I made this three times as big, like as wide, this actually holds twice as much water. So. Um, other alternatives, this consumes a bit of power too, This, um, but it's pretty simple to set up these loaders and the sweeper here. But if you wanted to consume almost no power, then you use this instead. You just use a bunch of rail element sensors and shutoffs. Um, so then they just, each package just snakes its way through um, being moved away if it's not what you need. We just we just want probably one type of um, Paku egg here because um, not because of the temp ranges they live in, but uh, I mean you, if if you build this in a hot area you can do tropical fine and you just configure that it's no problem. Now you're probably wondering how do I go about building this? Um, probably just bottom up. Um, I actually haven't built this in survival. I built this. And I just did it bottom up. Um, and once it is built, uh, I had to get the water in. So um, just like this, th these are both the same. Just this one's more compressed. So this should be fairly fairly straightforward. It'll fill itself up to the right amount. As for priming this with eggs. Um, basically just have to extend the conveyor rail that goes up here so just extend it out the bottom to some other source here um, the reason for that is you can't actually just drop a wild egg here because it doesn't actually have enough time to become tame unless if you actually just configure this to not eject it so you just to force it to keep um, the packy there until it becomes tame so you can do that if you want, but otherwise you just send in a tame egg and it'll eventually um, reproduce and fill up the rest.